Crying is healing. You can't have black curls with white shit. That's not cute. Sis wanna take shots. That Let's thing. finish this, cause I'm ready. Yes, for this lighting. All right, hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the vlog now because I love the lighting. Um, I did not get to show y'all everything we had to do because I was doing everything. I was doing the most this morning. I was doing my makeup. I was washing dishes. No, not washing dishes, washing laundry. I was still packing. Like it was mad stuff. My brother sent me a package. It was just way too much, okay? So I could not get the vlog open. But right now we are almost like, hour out can't see i know but we're like an hour out we should be there by like six o'clock um this vlog is going to be me preparing for thanksgiving and just like the little things that i do uh this week so hope you guys enjoy it's the next day it is saturday listen i'm looking a mess but by the time i got in my mom's house last night i was just done traveling i was hungry i just i was done with everything okay i wanted to just eat and just um get undressed and lay down and go to sleep right now girl these cats is having a good old time look at them Exactly. It's it's amazing how all of y'all stop once y'all know y'all was on camera. No proof, right? Right now I'm about to get dressed and go out and um get some stuff for Thanksgiving. So be back when I'm ready. Alright guys, so I'm back and as you can see I am dressed. My mom does not have a full body mirror, so I'm gonna try to show you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that TV blasting in the background. Yeah, my fit as best as I can. All right, so I just have this little like. Let me see if I can set y'all up. But just this little like puff like um sweater. I think it's from Fellow 21. It has just this stripe of pink around it. It is kind of crop top. Kinda crop top. But yeah, it has like this little collar. Super cute. Love that. It's cold as fuck outside. Then I just have these blue jeans. They have these buttons. Girl, don't we love these buttons? Hold on, let me pause this TV. Right, I'm crying because I was saying this in my head the whole time. All right, so now down here, this is how the jeans end. You know, they go kind of like, they have some ruching right here. And they kind of like, in like that, I guess. I don't know. They don't have like, they could be worn with heels and stuff too, but that's not the point. Just my Doc Martens. And then we're just gonna grab this little purse to go with it. So that's like the whole ensemble. That's gonna be the fit and we're gonna go out. I wanted to just share something with you guys. Y'all, per usual, like everybody else, I was on YouTube the other night, right? And I'm like, yo, I want to get my skincare up. I need better lotion. Right now, this is the lotion I'm using. You know, it's a decent lotion. It's decent, but it's just not thick. And it's winter time. So it's like fall going into winter. So you need nice, good, thick lotion. I normally use body butter, but the person that makes my body butter is very, very busy right now. So they haven't been able to make me some in a while. But getting back to the point, y'all. I seen a girl promoing this lotion two days ago. 
And I just merely wanted it for the scent. So the scent is vanilla cashmere. I was like, that gotta smell delicious. Right, right. Went and got it. $8 at Walmart, y'all. It is really good lotion. Look how it comes out. Oh my God. That's good consistency. You see, it's not running. Look at it. I can shake my hand up and down. It's not moving. That is really thick, good lotion. So, this is how it goes in as well. It's like, you see the shine is given? Look at that shine. It smells <sighs> orgasmic. <laughs> like, it smells so good, y'all. And look. Look at my hands now. Like, they weren't too ashy before, but that shine, y'all. And it feels amazing. So, I would say, if you have $8 and you're looking for different lotion, go to your local Walmart. That's where it is. If you're like me, then you have to see people talk about it. So, go <laughs> to the reviews and look how people are raving about this lotion. But at the end of the day, try it out because it's great. All right, y'all. So, let me get on up out of here. It is late. It's almost goddamn noon. I didn't want to be outside to sleep, but it is what it is. I didn't get up till like nine o'clock. Y'all, I'm about to leave, but I had to show you him. Look at him. So cute, so knocked out. All right, guys, so I actually did find a full body mirror. So. Guys, I'm trying to leave, but now look. So precious. I can't wait for cutters later. All right, guys, I'm outside. This sun, this sun, don't let the sun fool you, okay? Because it's cold as hell. All right, get into this car. My hair had turned white, and this edge, girl, we're not going to talk about this. Let me just get in this goddamn car, okay? We are headed to Sam's Club. I hate when we driving. Look, see this white stuff? I'm trying to get this out of my hair. I hate when you driving and the car in whatever lane looks like he's merging into your um into your lane because he's driving so damn close to the dotted lines. Anyways, we in a car now heading on our way to Sam's Club to get some stuff. And like I said earlier, we'll be going to Walmart. I'm about to play my music, so y'all know I will not be getting copyrighted. In one mile, turn right onto Saluda Dam Road. I gotta learn how to do more styles of my hair or just do my hair more. I'm so lazy when it comes to doing my hair. And y'all, we finally made it to Walmart. I mean, look at me with the sign and saying Walmart because I need to go to Walmart. But we finally made it to Sam's Club. About to run in here and get these few things and be out. Y'all, this goddamn Sam's Club is so motherfucking packed right now. This is crazy. These people is in here. Look at this. Girl. What? They, they got a sale going on or something? Y'all missed all the commotion in the beginning of the store. It was dumb packing the front. Why is there so many damn people in here? Like, I know it's Saturday, but why is this shit so motherfucking packed? Mm. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, it's Sunday. As you can tell, I ain't been doing nothing. I got my bomb on. My little knock around clothes. I got my food. Now I'm about to smash. Let me say grace. Right, I haven't been doing nothing. I think later on tonight, I am going to um, make my cookie dough. So I can't wait for that. Love when my grandma stuff all the cooks. I'm just going to this jerk chicken. If the jerk ain't burnt, it ain't good, okay? Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna eat. Um, I'm gonna hit y'all back later. Hey, 
hey guys so what's up today is monday november 21st i think um i didn't get to record a lot yesterday because i was really just lounging y'all see me eating i really stayed in that outfit the whole freaking day i didn't do anything else um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys what we did today because i woke up this morning and i was just over it you ever wake up and you just got a lot on your freaking brain you trying to figure your whole life out as soon as you wake up that's how i felt this morning with that being said, I did go shopping to pick up the ingredients for the things that we need. And y'all, I was just over it. Period. You seen that? Just over it. Like, I wind up sitting in the car just having like a little emotional mental breakdown. But sometimes it's great to cry. Matter of fact, it's always great to cry. Don't ever let somebody tell you that crying is weakness because crying is healing. Crying is like your salvation. Crying is what makes you realize where you are and stuff. Look at Mimits. So, after doing all that, I'm sorry, here, she want to be pet. Hey, mama. Why are you biting me? After doing all that. After doing all that, um, yeah, I was just like, I'm over it. So that's about it. I'm just really, healing is hard and healing takes a lot of self-work. And I'm not afraid or running away from the healing. But let me tell you how this. The more that you heal, the more it comes out. The more that you try to work on yourself, <sighs> it seems like sometimes the deeper and the bigger your problems get. So, with all that being said, like I said, happy Monday. And um, let me show you guys what I got because we brought a lot of stuff for Thanksgiving. I want this Thanksgiving to be enormous, which all of my Thanksgivings are normally big as fuck. So, um, I'm okay with that. So, let's go see what we got. Oh, my fit today was really nothing. You see my bra? I had on just these sweats, this little shirt that says home is where the heart is. And I had on my red hirachis, but I turned them off took them off i'm sorry and put on my um slippers because girl all right y'all so let's see all the stuff that we got look at all of this these bags all this stuff all this look at this it's time to get cooking all right so while babe finished taking everything out so we can show you guys what we got we'll just run through it so we got coca-cola for the ham some milk because almost everything you cook on thanksgiving needs milk some cornstarch we got all of these seasonings right here. The cream cheese for the cheesecake. Some legs for the barbecue chicken. Some potatoes for the potato salad. Some pie crust for all the pies I'm making. Some butter. Right. <laughs> some candy yams for the yam. Y'all yeah, already know that. It's just so much stuff. Some of the other stuff, some of the other stuff is over here. So we have the elbows for the macaroni and cheese, the tri-colored roti, a rotin for the tri-colored pasta, um, cranberry sauce, jiffy for cornbread, because I'm not making it homemade, brown sugar. Y'all, it's just mad stuff. Bananas for the banana pudding, the collard greens, I don't want to get too much. The uh, green peppers, the Granny Smith apples for the um, apple pie, the chicken for Babe's famous chicken, cheese for the macaroni and cheese. Um, here's a pie crust right here for the cheesecake. Um, some broccoli, all this produce, some onions. Um, some garlic in here, sorry. Some cabbage. Some olives. Sour cream. Relish. Baby tomatoes. Y'all, it's so much stuff. The stuff is falling off. <laughs> Baby carrots. Ah! <laughs> um, some ribs. Because my stepfather got to be on the grill. You hear me? some fried fish so that he can fry this stuff as well he do all the meats and i do all the um like all the sides and pies and stuff that's always how we do it so 
some celery, lemons, yeah. Oh, eggs. So here is the sweet potatoes for that potato pie. I really think that that is kind of everything that we got. Oh, I didn't even get to show y'all. I don't even know if I want to show y'all now or show y'all later because we're going to be making the coquito today. So you know what? I might show y'all that later. These are on the pans. Look, the roaster type, the large ones, the little ones, like the medium ones, the deep. This is um for like the cornbread and stuff. The deep ones for like the potato salad and stuff. And then all these pie ones. So yes, it's going to be a lot. I really think that's it, y'all. Oh, thank you. So here are the glasses. Look how cute these are, guys. Dollar Tree, 125. I thought it was so cute. Gather, because I wanted a cute glass. Y'all know how I am. I can't make coquito and drink it out of a regular solo cup. I mean, I could have, but I didn't want to. So I found this in Dollar Tree, and I was like, how freaking cute. Gather, gather, gather. It's like simple but festive at the same time. And because y'all know, thank you, y'all know that I am a drink, okay? I look at the drink. I like a drink, y'all. I found this little shot glass also from Dollar Tree. Uh, this is what Thanksgiving is looking like. And I can't wait. Woo, I love to cook, as y'all can see. I am so ready and so excited. The only thing I'm kind of sad about is that it's only going to be me, my mom, my husband, and my stepdad. I'm not saying I don't like to cook for them, but I'm a cook. So I want to feed multiple mouths. Like, that's what I like. Last year we had Thanksgiving. It was about eight of us in here. And I was super happy. Like, I was juiced because I always want to cook. Let me know. You know what, ladies? Let me know if that Edge Booster be leaving stuff on y'all too. Because that's what this is. Like, I use Edge Booster and I have this other stuff that I use for my edges sometimes. I ain't really feel like doing nothing today. Y'all already heard what I said, how my morning went. Um, but I noticed that when I use my edge booster, sometimes it leaves like white shit in my hair. And I'm like, yeah, no, you can't have black curls with white shit. That's not cute. All right, y'all. So just wanted to check in today. Like I said, today is Monday. I want to check in. Um, I cannot wait to start prepping with you guys. That's going to be fun when we prep and like, you know, whatever. So that's going to be fun. I can't wait for that. But for now, I'm about to go find something to eat because sis ain't eat today. And it's goddamn almost 2 o'clock. So I need to get something to eat so I don't get a headache. All right, y'all. So I will see y'all later. All right, y'all. So I'm back. It is 6 o'clock now. And I'm out the shower. Got my little bonnet on because I'm in the house. I ain't doing nothing. This little dress I got from Fashion to Figure. I used to wear it outside. Now it's just like an in-house, chill, comfy. You know what we do. All right, so right now, sis is hungry. So I'm about to yam, yam, yam this soup, all right? About to eat this soup real quick, and then we will get into making the coquito. So BRB. All right, y'all, so my soup is made. I'm about to yam this soup. I also have some nuggets left from yesterday. So yes, this is a struggle meal, but we gonna make it do what it do. It's some nuggets in there, see? Alright y'all. Actually my noodles are they took in too much water. I like them when they're a little bit raw. These are overcooked because I was doing mad shit. I right, I'm almost done eating. It's coquito time. Coquito, 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 and coquito, coquito. Coquito, coquito, and coquito. It's coquito time. Y'all lie, my fat ass eating ice cream. I'm gonna finish this. Cause I want something sweet. And every time I eat, I always want something sweet. But I'm gonna finish this for real. And then I'm really gonna get to the coquito. Like I'm gonna stop playing for real. What you doing? I was watering my mom's plants. So like a dead one fell off. Or like you know and now he's having a time of his life i'm about to take it away from him because i think it's poisonous for them to play he gonna have to get another toy okay i'm i'm gonna take it okay thank you all right guys so i'm finally back 
belly feels better than it was okay and i'm ready to do the coquito so i'm gonna show you all the ingredients that you need this is not a how to make coquito if you would like a video like that then you can leave a comment down below but right now this is just me making it for you guys and just showing y'all what i use all right first and foremost you're gonna need a blender real quick about this so i had went and brought all the stuff for the coquito to make it and my mom has eighteen thousand appliances no blender so she had to go buy this for me last night thank you it doesn't have to be fancy it just has to be functional things that you're gonna need to add to make the stuff to make coquito sorry y'all is condensed sweetened milk evaporated milk cream um i'm sorry coconut cream and coconut milk you're also gonna need ground cinnamon um vanilla extract ground nutmeg and of course your liquor your rum all right so really quick for mine so i brought this rum to go in mine bacardi i wanted to do blacks most of the time when i make coquito i do white but i want to do black so this is some black rum i tasted it it's all right now for what i like to do is soak cinnamon sticks so if you look really closely you can see cinnamon sticks that i've soaked now for over 24 hours i would definitely say so this is the this y'all y'all look at that this inside of this um casamigos is this bacardi i don't want nobody talking about where you got dark coquito i mean dark casamigos from because girl if i could i would but this is brandy all right and um i got two bottles so here's the other bottle that is soaking i left this little bit because this won't take shots so why not so that's all you need let's get to making it guys last but not least this is the container i know it's so much stuff up here guys this is the container that i'm trying to make to fill up this thing is gigantic it is two gallons i have eight cans of because i'm trying to fill her up i need to drink i need to drink all right y'all let's get started cheers guys this is our first batch this is what it looks like see that like nice color yes all right so here's our jar here's our first batch y'all here we go Ooh, yes now i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna keep a little bit for myself because i want to taste it and see what it tastes like oh i need to wash this cup so, I won't be using that. Hold on, let me go over here and get a cup that's already washed. Boom, because I need to wash that. Let me see what this tastes like. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. It's still not strong. That's the spices. Wanna taste it? But as it sits, it gets better. Is it strong? Strong to me. Mm. Once it's on ice or it's cold. You can always top it off with extra uh, rum if you want. With so. extra shots, exactly, y'all. Let's thing, finish huh? this, because I'm ready. Okay. This just put me back in spirit, y'all. All right, y'all, it's a mess because we had to do some rearranging to fit this big old baby in. However, look at her. She is done. I don't know if I could fit a whole nother, like, yeah, I don't think so. So I'm gonna leave it. Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, November 22nd, I think. Today's 22nd. Right. Um. So I still got on the same thing I had on yesterday because I just cooked the coquito in this last night, and then I took it off and got to bed, or went to bed, however you want to say it. So 
right now it's like 10 30 in the morning and i'm about to start all the other things that need to be cooked but first let me put y'all down all right but first i need to charge my phone and i need to eat some breakfast they just went and got me some wendy's breakfast never had it before so i'm just gonna eat it um first and foremost before that hydration guys i need to really get back on my water I used to, oh, that's how thirsty I was. <laughs> I used to try to drink at least like four to six bottles of water a day because you're supposed to drink a gallon. But then I be doing too much. Like, ugh, I be doing too much. So I am making sure that December and going into 2023 that I am taking my health back by my own control because health is wealth. Health is my first wealth before currency becomes you know my second one it's almost like income you know like you got to take the same type of approach with life to make sure that you're investing in your life right y'all let's see what this breakfast is about i think this is a chicken sandwich too it is it's a chicken biscuit thank god it's still hot oh it's a honey biscuit mm -hmm. came with the honey biscuit girl not all my fries falling <laughs> in the bag <laughs> scoop them back up And like these little wedges. Let me say grace and bite into this. Let me see what this is hitting for. I actually, it's decent. Like, I wouldn't eat this every day, but. If I needed something just like now to hit my stomach, I would eat it. Taste these fries real quick, y'all. Yeah. Girl, these fries, these wedges is on first, like, taste bud. Taste in the mouth. They taste like potato chips. Let me know. If you've ever ate the wedges for the breakfast from Wendy's, let me know what it's giving for y'all. Did I shake this up? I'm sitting. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go eat. And when I see y'all again, we gonna be cooking and prepping, prepping and cooking, cooking and prepping and prepping and cooking. I'm excited. All right, guys, I'm finally back. Um, I had to let my phone charge. It's now close to 2 p.m., 154. I'm about to get all this stuff prepped and get to cooking. All this stuff that is on this counter right here is all the stuff that we're gonna need to make the, I think I'm making three, four things today. The sweet potato pie, the potato salad, tricolor pasta um, salad, and devil eggs. so the potato salad has everything in it besides the peppers and i know y'all see this little bit of peppers you're like what the hell is she gonna do with that so that's what i'm gonna cut up now and i'm gonna go get some more and add some more tomorrow and we're gonna go ahead and mix it up i might need some more of the condiments in terms of the mayonnaise and mustard but i like to do it like this and then gauge it because you don't want your potato salad soupy do you want it moist you do but you don't want it soupy honey you don't want mashed potatoes not what we're trying to make it's looking good though i think i got enough it's looking perfect like hold me together type you know hold on mm -hmm. i'm surprised i don't sing like my devil eggs done i'm actually cooking some more because you see the pan is not full and we can't have that here's my little mixture i work on the tricolor pasta and the sweet potatoes 
yep so all right guys see y'all back in a few So y'all just saw how I made my pie crust and laid it out and everything. This is all the ingredients for the sweet potato pie. So we're about to go ahead and mix it up. All right, y'all, so we're all mixed up now and we've made four pie crusts. Okay, so like I thought, that was only enough mix for three. All right, hey y'all, don't get me. Watching this back, I was crying on my head rag, but I was stressed out. Guys, okay. um, it's actually Saturday. It's almost two o'clock. I know, two days after Thanksgiving, but I never really got to show y'all everything that I cooked. And let's just start off with some bad news. I made six sweet potato pies and they all mildewed. I'm so sad. All right, so half of those are being thrown out. I made two apple pies, this is the apple pie, that's the apple pie. I made three cheesecakes. Here is some turkey breast. Okay, here's some collard greens, the cabbage, cornbread, cornbread, oh, the mac and cheese, the tricolor pasta. Hold on, y'all, because I'm like packing up the bounce. Um, here's some barbecue chicken. Here is the yams. Um, I believe this is ribs. This is cranberry sauce. Oh, wow. I told y'all it's two days after. <laughs> so, this is the chicken that babe cooked. I wish I would have got it for y'all for. Listen, it'd be a lot going on, okay? Here is potato salad. But I took out my coquito. These are like all the bottles. I got like four of these bottles. Here are the double eggs. And here is the banana pudding. Banana pudding. I'm sorry about the image, y'all, but like I said, it's two days after, so everybody has eaten. Like I said, it's two days after and everybody has eaten. Here is some fried fish. And here is the ham all right y'all so that is everything that i cooked i'm so sorry that i did not give y'all the pretty image but it was a lot of work and a lot of food so i'll be back to close the vlog later i just wanted to show you guys some of the food that i cooked hey guys what's up what's up what's up i'm coming to close the vlog today is actually November 28th um so it's Monday Thanksgiving is well over and done I just wanted to come explain a few things so one I am so sorry about the image that you guys got of the food um the last 36 hours meaning Friday and part of Saturday were frustrating like they were frustrating so when I got that image I was in the middle of packing up and leaving because I came home on Saturday um Hello. Hi. He just woke up. Um. So I was packing up and leaving. And I just said, let me just get this image for you guys. Because it sucked. Come on. Really? Could you move? Hold 
This is my baby. Look at him. He's such a big boy, but he still feels that he's little. Papa, say hello. All right, so yeah. Um, like I said, right, I was in the midst of packing up and leaving, but I just wanted to get the image because it kind of sucked that you guys went through the whole like cooking with me and didn't really get to see the finished product. I promise that in the future, I'm definitely going to make sure that I get my shots to be better, clearer. Can I close? Okay. Oh, my baby. Look at my baby. Come on. To be better, um, because I kind of hate like knowing that my vlogs don't never really get to, I don't get to finish them like I want to. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, but yeah, completely frustrating. So because I came home early, I was able to put up my stuff. Yeah, I know it'd be taking me like a freaking week to clean up, but that's really all I got left just to finish those shoes. All the other bags have been put up. So I'm so happy about that. At least I got to get that done. Um, However, in the beginning of the um, vlog, like the beginning of the week, listen, I love Thanksgiving. Not because I'm supporting America's holiday, but because I love to cook. Cooking is one of my favorite hobbies. Cooking always like makes me feel good because I know when people eat my food, they're going to feel good. So I actually enjoyed um, cooking and things like that. I had a lot of fun. That coquito, y'all. I have so much left. I have like four full bottles of liquor um, filled up. So I'm excited to drink that. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to come explain the image and just tell you guys that I'm so sorry that it ended like that. But you know what? It's real life and it is what it is. But he's sleeping now. Look at him. He's sleeping. He's such a baby. He's such a big baby. But yeah, I just wanted to come explain why everything was like not, you know, laid out on the table, but face down because that's really how I wanted it. Also, like by the time I got finished cooking on Thanksgiving, y'all, it was like eight o'clock and I had this little meet and greet with like my, um, my extended family now. I didn't even get to film that. It was just like, ugh, hectic. So sick of it being hectic. Um, but I'm going to get better. Because as time goes on, you only have two options. You either get worse or you get better. And I'm always on the side of getting better. So we're going to um, work on that. But yeah, I got done super, super late. It was so weird because normally on Thanksgiving, we all eat together. We all say like one thing we're thankful for. And that didn't happen this year. So with all of that leading up, I'm not surprised that like... No, he's done now. Listen, no. Right. With all of that happening, I'm not surprised that like um, I, that it ended in such frust frustration and like disarray and everything like that. But yeah, sorry about the image. Um, gonna get better with that. I did have a lot of fun. I enjoyed cooking, and that coquito was bomb. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.